And welcome back guys. We're going to be playing some more Starfield. Make sure it's the like button, make sure it's the grab button. Let's get into it. Hydrocarbons in abundance. Let us see how they have arranged themselves. Just to walk into a space like this is very, very confident. Or, I suppose, very insecure. This music is gonna put me to sleep. Are we impressed? Clearly that is the goal. I think... No, never mind. I am not impressed. Dulcet tones of classical piano. Welcome. May's message didn't exactly make it clear why you wanted to meet with me. If you're looking for work, my organization is always in need of pilots and security personnel willing to take risks. You've heard of the first, I take it. I'm not just a member, I also help to fund the outfit through a network of independent traders. Of course, illicit goods are the most lucrative, so... There is a constant need for skilled pilots. Ah, I see. You did well to find me. I'm not an easy man to locate. Though I suppose we haven't exactly been keeping a low profile lately. Given the nature of the contract, the degree of exposure was always a risk, but a calculated one. To be honest, I think the Major is all but spoiling for a confrontation with the Rangers. Still, I confess, I'm a little disappointed that the Marshal sent a deputy instead of a full-fledged Ranger. <laughs> Tread carefully, Marco. You underestimate the deputy at your peril. And who might you be? Call me Andreja. Welcome to my home, Andreja. If I may be so bold, you possess a certain mystique. It's a pleasure to have you here. The feeling is not mutual, 
And I am not the one with whom you should be trying to curry favor, Marco. Your deputy friend here could have a bright future. Assuming we all keep our heads. That's right. Major Hall spent 20 years in lockup nursing a grudge against the Free Star Collective. We all did. A lot of good men and women died for nothing because of those cowards you work for. You've chosen your side, and I've chosen mine. <laughs> I'm not sure you are grasping the situation here, Deputy. You are on my ship. Outnumbered by my guards, who will kill you without hesitation. I'm a businessman. If you expect me to cooperate, I'm going to want something in return. I won't tell you everything. I do still have some loyalty to my unit. However, I can point you in the right direction. In exchange, I want the Rangers to let me operate with a free hand. Good. Then we are agreed. An agreeable transaction. And bloodshed is avoided. It'd be a shame if an encrypted slate like this one somehow got into the wrong hands. Wouldn't it? Now, before you complain, remember that all I promised was to point you in the right direction. You're free to stay as long as you like. It's not often I get to entertain such a distinguished guest. You are a welcome diversion. What do you need? Feel free to tour the ship.
succeed at that before we are discovered. As you can see, I'm a man who enjoys the finer things. Meet your death! I make this look easy. Now we are having fun!
There. Shit. This seems worth a look. Always a satisfying moment to return to your ship.
Andresia! Andresia! I've got the perfect plan this time, I promise. I am not certain that I believe you, based on the symptom. understand this station was once quite the luxurious place for UC military commanders. Based on what I see, I find that very hard to believe. I hope we have what... Good to see you. You won't find a better...
Welcome to the Freestar Collective. Please maintain your current course while we scan your ship. All right, you're good. Welcome to Aquila City. This city is so large, yet retains a sort of rustic feel. I find it comforting. The services check is in the hop up in front. Laredo makes some good guns, but outlaws? Uh, okay. Stay right up front. Take a gander. If you're looking for the Rangers, check the upper levels, or the canteen. Helga says I spent too much time at my terminal. He's probably right. Hey there, Deputy. How goes the hunt for the first? Good, good. If you ask me, I don't think they stand a chance. You're like an Ashta creeping silently through the high grass, waiting for your chance to pounce, and then BOOM! Down they'll go. So, did you get any more of those encrypted slates? Because, let me tell you, I am so close. Oh, come to daddy, you sweet little piece of technology. You go stalk your prey and leave the rest to me, deputy. Deputy, take a seat. Sit down. While you've been in the field, we've had more reports about farmers being threatened and attacked. 
Unfortunately, some didn't survive. It's worse. It's tragic. How's your investigation proceeding? That's assuming he finds something useful. Otherwise, you'll be no better off than when you started. How can you be so critical when you have done nothing to help? This is Freestar Ranger business. I'll thank you to stay out of it. Let's move on. I asked the other rangers to share their opinions of you, and there are some things I want to go over. We'll start with Ranger Callow in Hopetown. She was grateful for your timely arrival, and impressed you had the guts to take on those pirates. Nia says you were respectful with Ron Hope and didn't push too hard. That shows me you were listening when I said to go easy on him. I can understand that. He can be uncompromising, but he looks after his people. Let's continue. We've got a detailed report from Ranger Price about your recent visit to Neon. He said you helped an informant by paying off a large debt. That's the right way to think about it. You definitely went above and beyond, and the Marshal and I thank you for that. You got results, and that's what matters most. Price was impressed by that. Said you really took the initiative. Ranger McMillan praised what she called your uncommon bravery and dedication. She said you took on the Red Mile so you could get a meeting with Marco Graziani. Sounds like you're starting to understand what it means to be a Freestar Ranger. So what happened with Marco? I doubt he gave you that slate out of the kindness of his heart. I suppose underestimating you was his last mistake. Damn. I thought if anyone could see reason, it'd be Marco. What about Maya Cruz? Her loyalty to Hull and the 1st Cavalry was stronger than most. I guess I'd want the same thing if I were in her place. Excuse me, Marshal? Not now, Alex. We're in a meeting here. I know, but this is important. I've done it. I've cracked the encryption on the slates. Now, I don't know exactly where the first are headquartered, but there are references to a place called the Factory. The Factory? That was our nickname for the main facility where the mechs were manufactured. Under the terms of the peace treaty, they shut all the mech factories down right after the war. But they didn't destroy them. At least not all of them. The facility was on Arcturus, too. It could be a dead end, but if it's not, then you'd better be ready for a fight. If you have questions before and you head out, that looks ask like a good place to stop. Make sure to play a button. Make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.